what is this? A rewrite on Rust on the PHP world. You guys ready? This is the real test chat. How much faster this solution actually is. <laughs> What's up community, it's Nunu here and a reminder that only 50% of you are actually subscribers of this channel so if you love PHP as much as I do, please subscribe to this channel and like this video. And now, enjoy. And today, oh boy, we are literally exploring PHP tooling being rewritten in Rust. What is Mago? It's not only a PHP linter, a formatter and a static analyzer, meaning that it's PHP stand, is a rector, but it's also pint, but at the same time, is rewritten on Rust. And I think, you guys correct me if I'm wrong, but I think this is the, the very first attempt we see a rewrite on Rust on the PHP world. I'm just happy that someone is actually bringing Rust performance to the PHP development. We have seen a lot of that on the JavaScript ecosystem. You guys know that. So, baba boom, baba boom, we click on installation. All right, let's start with this then. Let's copy this. Let's go to this project. I'm curious to see if I type that command right here, how that will behave with PHP 8.1. Let's see. And it's installing, so meaning zero dependencies. And I think it's literally zero dependencies because it's probably because it's just a binary. First of all, let me clean all of my history because I don't want you guys to see like my confidential information. I can run this by just by typing Mago, and I do. Okay, this is the output you get. This is a very powerful PHP tool chain with lint, format, and in analyze your code with ease. You can just type Mago in options, and then you can type init, which is probably the first one we're going to type. So let's type here, Mago init. I think this is the only thing we have to do. Ooh, what is this? Welcome, let's you get you blah, 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 project setup. We found the composer.json. Use it to auto-configure the project pads in PHP version. Yes, sir, why not? Yes, sir. Use composer.json to auto-detect framework integrations. Yes. The default settings are PSF 12 compatible. Do you want to customize them? <sighs> oh, we may want to, because I know that Pint doesn't follow strictly PSR 12, you know? No advanced setup. I'm gonna just keep the default options for now. Write the configuration to mago.toml. Ooh. Okay. This is actually a very common format on the Rust world, this dot. T-O-M-L, formatter definitions, LinkedIn definitions, linter rules, okay, this is the way you can customize things, analyzer, this is basically how you customize the PHP stand equivalent by enable or disable some options. Cool, 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 cool. The first thing to do is just clear my terminal, go all the way up and just run pint on this project, okay? So I run pint, I have literally, you know, 16 files and everything just works as expected. Let's run now Mago FMT and formatted seven files successfully. Where are the changes though? Can I see them? Like, oh, dry run, std input, check if the source code files were formatted. Where is the output though? All right, so he did format accordingly to PSR 12, which is, here we go. For example, PSR 12 actually removes this space in between the FN and the parentheses. So kind of formats in the PSR 12 way. This is, all of this is expected by the way, okay? So I guess if I run pint on this again, we'll just go back to the, yeah, to the Laravel preset. And if I run Mago again, this will give me, yeah, will give me um, the PSR 12 format. So let's go here and just type the following. So we have a bunch of changed files. Let's type time pint, okay? And I expect, you know, the Rust version just to be much faster because, you know, it's written on Rust, right? So we have here seven files formatted in 0 0.4 seconds, okay? So half of a second to format all of this. Let's actually do the same thing with Mago FMT. And this is, this is the real test chat how much faster this solution actually is. You guys ready? Write down the chat if you're ready, cause I am ready for this. <laughs> 20 millisecond chat. <laughs> Doing this in the real project will be a much, a much better and accurate benchmark, okay? This is not an accurate benchmark. Okay, so before you guys go to Twitter and start saying, no, no, the rap, you know, the rapper guy just, you know, benchmark incorrectly and blah, blah, blah. I understand that. This is a small project. It's not a big one. Therefore, this is not accurate. However, this is fun to see. Here we go. They actually have a page about benchmarks. 
read this real quick? Oh, we can. So pretty PHP. What is pretty PHP? Is that a project? An opinionated PHP code formatter. This is the very first time I'm reading about this project. 70 stars. The logo looks like prettier. It's probably a version of prettier to PHP. And prettier PHP is like 100 times slower. <laughs> do they have comparison with Pint? They do. So they do have a comparison with Pint on the source code that we don't have access to. Pint was 45 times slower. In PHP CS Fixer, well, this is not possible, by the way, because Pint is built on top of PHP CS Fixer. Well, unless, there is a few things that Pint does by default, like that caching, potentially the options, that potentially may make actually Pint faster than PHP CS Fixer by default, which isn't likely. I think this comparison, I don't know. I don't, if you enjoyed the video, go all the way down and subscribe my channel, if you can. If you can. It would be kind of cool to have an option to give me the files that need formatting. You know what I mean, chat? Oh, here we go. Dash dash dry run tells me that actually. Let's now go to the Rector PHP one. And I think it's worth to talk a little bit what is, you know, what Rector PHP actually does in your project. Rector PHP is a little bit more than styling. Effectively, Rector PHP is more about actually coding standards. Let's talk about that. One really good example that I like to give about Rector is when you have a function, for example, and you do something like if uh, this, then else, what Rector PHP will do on this small line of code is that we'll remove this else thing right here and place this return on the right here, you know? Because the else return is like not needed because you have a return condition here. So what you can do is basically run Rector and it will do this for you basically, okay? This small adjustment, which is a little bit more than styling. Effectively, you are changing source code. That's what Rector PHP does. Okay, it doesn't do that. However, I expect it to do on the lint thing. Okay, so we found three issues. In one of them, exactly, one of them is this else clause can often be eliminated. eliminated. And this is what I was hoping for. And I want to see like how exactly can I apply the auto fix because it tells me that one issue contains an auto fix and I want to apply this. Let's go here and type help. So we have the baseline thing. This is something very common on the PHP stand world. You can basically just tell uh, Mago that, you know, you want to have this baseline of problems, but you don't want to address them for now, okay? Oh, okay, it's dash dash fix, so let's do that. I'm gonna clear my terminal and run lint dash dash fix and I hope something will happen on this else condition. Let's see, and here we go. It just removed, however, this is broken. No good, huh? No good, Mago. You literally gave me broken code right now. <laughs> well, technically, I don't even know if this is, is this like valid? Let's run PHP Playground. Wait, what? Can I do this? Are you serious right now? It's literally right there. Like what the actual, did you guys know this? Like if I do this, wait, what? I'm so confused right now. Let's actually do a if false. So this should just be removed because it will never be true. Well, at least I expect it to. Here we go, it did remove this. It did kept like the empty line, which is something I was kind of expecting it to be removed. Format after fix, this should do the entire thing. Here we go, much, much better. Let's move forward and actually try PHP stand now. Again, Mago contains pint is equivalent or pint is equivalent, contains rector is equivalent, but also contains PHP stand is equivalent, which is the next test we are going to do. Technically, I run Mago, that's super fast, Jesus Christ. So analyzing all my project, how much time it took, analyze. So this is, again, this is the equivalent of PHP stand. Tokes 300 milliseconds, and the amount of files were about 30, I think. This is the time Mago took. Now let's run PHP stand. And PHP stand is also analyzing the entire project, okay? And let's run with time. PHP stand is faster, which might be duo cache. And without cache is actually way slower, which is expected, is about 1,300 milliseconds. If I do it again, we'll just do the same thing. Here we go. And now we go with Mago. So this is Mago without cache, apparently, okay? Which is 240 milliseconds. So let's run Mago to see if the output is actually good, okay? So it's saying the following. It's missing the override attribute when overwriting this given method. So that's actually true. Let's go all the way up. Unsafe array access on the type mixed. Interesting. I was wondering, so this is actually true, by the way. I was wondering if there is any equivalent of PHP stand ignore, ignore line on Mago. So here I'm gonna go all the way down on the line 80. Do we have anything like this? Mago, ignore, next line, still line issues. 
So on the function, do you mean here? Let's see. So I have nine issues at the moment. Let's run again. Now I have eight. Okay. So this is the way of ignoring a particular rule on this thing. Cannot call method here. Actually, I can. <laughs> Wait, what? Let me see. Yeah, I actually can call this method. Okay. So this is literally a closure and I can bind that closure to a different type to actually fetch the object variables inside. A little bit magic here of PHP magic. That's probably why it cannot detect that. Ooh, a nice emoji on the console too. Yeah, that's a bug for sure. Okay, PHP stand does not complain about this example. What happens with Mago? And I think Mago does not understand those method annotations. There we go, okay? So this is something that if you guys want to support Laravel, you will have to do. Okay, a lot of it have thousands of things like this, thousands. And obviously, within, we did a lot of benchmarking. This benchmarking is not an accurate benchmarking. Just give you the perspective how things can be much faster if they are written from scratch with Rust. However, however, Mago currently is indeed much faster. However, it may not give you the same level of functionalities, but not also the same level of integration with existing tooling. I'm a thousand percent sure that this Mago analyze on the real Laravel project will just complain about everything and things that you shouldn't. Probably the linting and the formatting will work good, but not the analyze. PHP Stan um, will be just much more accurate. What is the TLDR of this story? Uh, the TLDR is that, first of all, I'm grateful that we have a new PHP project written on Rust to improve the tooling in the PHP world with Rust much faster and hopefully with time this tool actually will become good and you know we never know potentially will be the default on the community that will be hard and it will take time and probably will never happen i'm gonna be honest with you i'm just happy that we see people coming to the to the ecosystem with new ideas especially ideas uh around the rust language for the php world and just for that, I want a round of applauses for the creator, okay? Everyone clapping for the creator of Mago already because we need more people like him on the PHP world.